Hello. This video is part of a series that explores how to combine the power of Blue Prism with SAP GUI scripting. This time we show how easy it is to manipulate an ALV grid to filter and select specific roles you may want to work with in your Blue Prism process. So, let's start. Working with ALV grid screen elements in SAP automations can sometimes be challenging, but the use of SAP GUI scripts in code stages can make our lives much easier. In this example, I'll use T-code SITSQ ALV, which is commonly found in any SAP installation, to illustrate how you can quickly filter and select from ALV grids. ALV stands for ABAP List Viewer, and it presents itself as a table with controls on top and Blue Prism can interact natively with ALVs to retrieve all rows from a table into a collection. The challenge is when you want to filter only in a specific row or a subset of rows and bring that result set into the context of your process. Typically, users would select the filter button, select the columns to be used as query arguments, input the query parameters, and apply the filter. In your automation, you would likely need to map all these different steps and screen elements to perform the same. Let me show you how you can accomplish this by leveraging SAP GUI scripting. I'm going to reset the filter now and open up the recorder tool. So we'll go to the options button up top, select the script recording, and push the record button. So all the actions will be recorded in the file that I indicate here. And now we're going to replicate the steps that the user would normally do. I'll push the filter button, select the columns that will be used as query arguments, I will then input the data that will be used as filters and I'll apply the filter. So there is my role there. Let me pause now the recorder. We're going to close this window and let's open the code that was produced. Let me bring uh, Blue Prism Studio in view and I'll show you a simple flow that I started. The first part of the code is just setting the stage um, to the SAP GUI context, the SAP GUI session, if you will, and I have that already down on my code stage. The second part is the most important part, which is the API invocations that replicates the the user steps and I've just transposed that into my code stage. Here I am substituting the hard-coded values that were passed by the user uh, with variables that I've declared. So I'm going to be passing variables as arguments. And um, let me close this. And now well, let's clear out the filter that was applied. So we start from scratch uh, to see this in action. There. And I'll reset the uh, context of Blue Prism as well. There are three uh, stages that I want to focus your attention to. First, let's take a look at the grid view as it was spied using the SAP spy mode. That's the grid view right there. First, I want to show you uh, how you can get all the items. There's no challenge in doing that. It's out of the box. You can populate a collection with all the items that is in the grid. Uh, then we're going to apply the filter and then we're going to get all the items again. This time it's already filtered, so uh, we'll get all the items in a second collection. So I'm running now uh, the flow, the 
particle stage is being invoked, it's populating the fields, the filter has been applied, and then we retrieve that single row. Two collections, one with all the rows, one with only the result of the filtered action. So let's take a look at these collections. First one, all the rows. Second one with uh, one row only, the result of the filtering. And this concludes our demonstration. I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching.